blue sky. Can it get any worse than blue sky as a photographer? Well, of course it can. Everything can get worse. But dealing with a day that is predominantly blue sky and trying to get landscape photographs poses all kinds of challenges, as, as you probably already know. So how do we deal with them? Well, you see how bright the sun is. I mean, it's just burning me out now on the, uh, uh, on the video. Uh, and uh, whilst there are clouds in the sky, there aren't any up there at the moment, as you can see. But what we do have up there, as you can probably just about see, is a climber. What I have is a very simple composition of them um, just climbing up here. Um, <laughs> I thought as if there was going to be anything else. I mean, yeah, I'm pointing the camera at them. And, uh, yeah, we're, they're climbing up. <clears throat> Just pull back slightly on that to change the aspect for the, the video. Because, uh, obviously, video 16 by 9. And uh, photograph 4 by 3 in this instance. And... Uh, it's it, it's a, a very simple shot. And what we're working with here is just colour contrast. We're keeping the sky to an absolute minimum uh, in there. And it's principally there to provide an element of scale. Uh, so we know how far the climb has come, how far they've got to go, how big the rock face is. And yeah, that kind of thing. Uh, it's... It's telling the story of what's happening. It would work, of course it would work, if it was a, a more interesting sky. And if it were a more interesting sky, I might be looking to get a little bit more uh, uh, of it in the frame. But it's just, just a lovely solid blue. And when you start kind of comparing it with the, the greys and the oranges and the... Uh, yeah, the, the various kind of uh, lighter tones in the rock face. You end up with a wonderfully nice colour contrast between the, the two things. And it's one of the ways of dealing with blue sky. The sun is directly behind me, so it's lighting that rock face. It's incredibly harsh, but because the rock face itself is... Uh, uh, it's very flat and yeah, absorbing the light very well. There's nothing on it reflecting. It's, uh, it works very nicely. Oh, there's an, air, there's an aircraft coming through now. I don't know whether we'll get that. And I have just noticed... Oh, I, I, the reason I noticed is because I pulled out. There's an aircraft. I'll get the aircraft there as well. <laughs> Might be a, a tad... A tudge, tudge? Tad, a tad of interest there. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll show you the shot. Uh, I'm rather pleased with it. I mean, it. It's simple, you know. I I spotted it, I pointed the camera, a bit of colour contrast. Let me know what you think. Another wonderful thing you can do on a really bright day like this is look for shadows. And of course they're everywhere, but you need to find shadows that are uncomplicated. Shadows that you look at it and you instantly know what it is, even if you don't see what the object is that's creating it. And I've got it here. The light is flooding onto this uh, sawn tree stump down here and we've got the bracken just being absolutely stuffed with the light coming down just creating this wonderful little shadow with a few pine needles on there as well long lens stopping down to around f14 to ensure that I've got pretty much the whole thing in I don't need, I, even now I don't know whether it's all in uh, in focus or not. Hold on, let's just kind of zoom into it. 
no it's it, it is falling out of focus around the the edges so uh, and the breeze is just moving it around that little bit too much if i just pull back a little more ah now the breeze has just picked up and it's moving it around so it's going to be very difficult to focus stack it so let's try and wait for the breeze to calm i may not be out because the angles and the breeze this may be very tricky to do this heck i may just have to stop down to something like f 20 to see whether i can actually just pull it into focus or not i don't know because i'm really quite close on a long lens i'm really punched into it it's difficult it looks like it's sharp throughout but the the breeze is giving me some motion blur stay still stay still stay still stop moving increasing the iso so i can increase the shutter speed and uh, reduce the chances of movement i think i've got it we're using the conditions to our advantage really bright light it's creating a really crisp shadow there the only challenge for me really is long lens angle down to it really quite close i don't have a great deal of depth of field and when i deepen the depth of field i've got uh, too much of the the fern itself in focus which i don't necessarily want i want that slightly soft i hope you like the shot i think it's a cracker back of the camera is a cracker let me know what you think of it it's important to say that I've not been here before I was kind of just expecting to scout I wasn't expecting to get a great deal of uh, well anything today because yeah very harsh light um, blue sky but it's actually given me an opportunity now I came here because I was kind of in the area and I saw Nigel Danson's uh, video where he came to the roaches because uh, it's quite close to his house and uh, uh and did a, a a morning sunrise shot here and he got some very nice photos looking well i must be assuming is that way because that's got to be east uh and uh, i remember the couple of peaks that are down there uh, appearing in his shot um i've walked in the opposite direction up here and there's this little i'm going to call it a tarn i'm sure it's not a tarn i'm sure in the local parlance of a uh, of um, Staffordshire, this is not a town, but it's uh, it's it's what I'm calling it, and it's actually quite nice. I, I've been walking backwards and forwards, trying to find a composition that kind of works with this. Um, and every now and again, the uh, the wind just flattens uh, to not very much, so we get a reflection on it of the of the rocks over there which is very very nice and it's not just the rocks of course but it's the sky as well now because the sun is becoming coming further around here now uh this sky isn't as blue as it was uh but you know um we moan about blue skies but here we got lovely fluffy white clouds and it really punctuates the blue and you've got some real real punchy color and it. it's really nice um, I just haven't found a composition yet. I've got a couple, so um, I might put one or two up and uh, perhaps you can tell me what you fancy uh, out of all of them. Uh, wind's just dropped a little bit, so there's a bit more of reflection on there. I'll probably put a polarizer on to deepen the sky a little. Um, or I might just do that in post, because as I deepen the sky, I also affect the reflection. Um, so yeah, horses, horses for horses. I don't know whether it's horses, of course, it's just a mistake to use it or a mistake not to use it. So perhaps I'll use it and I won't use it. I don't know. There's a dragonfly flitting around over the water there. 
So I'm going to see what other kind of um, compositions I might be able to find here. Um, I have to balance the shot because I've uh, got a very strong compositional element there in those rocks. And we have to balance it really with the hill over there. I'm, I'm trying to find a line that kind of takes the eye uh, through and around it. Uh, the water becomes a bit of a dead space. Um, perhaps not dead, but you know, it's not as full of detail as the rest of it. But if we can catch the reflection, I think it might work. <laughs> There's quite some variety in that lot, so I'll uh, do some processing, do some conundering in with me, conundering in me, conundrum, no, 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 it's not conundrum, is it a conundrum? I don't know. I don't know whether it's a conundrum as to which is the best or not. <laughs> is a bit messy, I've got tools out and all kinds of things because I've been playing about with the electrics a little and uh, <coughs> working out some new cabling and uh, yeah, working out how I'm going to fit this uh, charger and uh, indeed where I'm going to fit it and uh, earlier on I wired in a really important piece of equipment so this is checking out the, uh, the state of the battery charges and uh, there's a <coughs> solar panel on the roof, 150 watt I think it is, that uh, to be honest, does pretty much everything I need it to in here um, because my power consumption in the van is actually really low. I've replaced all of the lights in here with uh, LED, but I even put LED lights in the wardrobe so you open the door and the lights come on. All of these things really make the, uh, the motor home really that much more livable. Back to the photography. Um, it's important for me to point out that I've never been here before. I think I said this earlier. And having uh, kind of got here, and I, I don't, I, I mean, literally, I don't know the area. I, I, I barely even scouted it on Google Maps or anything before I got here. I just basically put the roaches into Google Maps and followed the directions. Um, not fully appreciating that it's basically a single track road in a single track road out. And when I say single track road, I mean uh, up a sheer cliff and um, down a sheer cliff. But here, I got here. But where I thought I was going was at the very top and I got there and it was absolutely chock-a-block. Uh, and that was it. I thought, oh, heck, you know, I'll have to abandon that. And as I've come down the other road, I found no uh, another kind of parking space, which has got space for probably 30 cars. Uh, just, you know, kind of lay-by type side of the road thing. And I've parked up here, not realising that actually the roaches is still right above me. It's not lost on me, the sheer potential of this place, because while you're on the top, you have 360 views. So it's perfect for sunrise and sunset. And I was going to stay up there for sunset, and that's about when sunset. Sunset's in about an hour's time. No, I don't know. I might be just that little bit too tired uh, to go up there again now. Yeah, sunset looking over towards Cheshire. I'm certain that, yeah, even a daylight, a day and night, an evening like now, it's going to be spectacular. Um, but, yeah, I'm 
probably, probably not going to go. If I do get up for sunrise, it'll be another video because uh, this one's probably rambled on long enough and uh, I appreciate your time. So thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in uh, the motorhome, um, then let me know in the comments and I'll do uh, maybe a, a whole video on um, uh, the motorhome and uh, it's, well, I don't know, it's history. I mean, we've had it for any, another video. Let me know if you want to see something about the motorhome and the things that I've done to it and indeed will be doing to it. Click the like button, subscribe, all of that kind of stuff. And um, even though this is a cup of uh, chai tea, I really would appreciate uh, if you could buy me a coffee. If you've enjoyed the video, if you've enjoyed uh, my videos over the last couple of years, please donate the price of a cup of coffee. Link below. Thank you for watching. We will see you soon. Take care.